Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. My name is Miriam and this afternoon it is after work on Friday and I am going to serve my daughter and my, my daughter Alexandra and my niece Tanya and Carl and I were going out tonight but before we go out we're going to have that amazing ravioli that I made earlier and that video is on YouTube and I want to make a pesto sauce and this pesto so sauce is so easy it's adaptable because you can interchange some things one of the things is I use a cup of pine nuts which I actually haven't toasted you can but they're fine just the way they are now if you didn't have pine nuts I have used almonds and I've used walnuts and it's delicious with both and the next time I do this, I think I'll try hazelnuts. So it's great. So what I have here is I've got a pound of basil. I've washed it. And what I did was I washed it, rinsed it very well. And now I put it in my spinner and gave it a spin to take all the water off. Because I don't really want a lot of water in my sauce. Right? Okay, so then, then you stop that. And you spin all the water off. And then all I'm doing is taking off all the leaves. And that all goes into my processor. So... Um, don't worry too much if you get a little bit of the stem. Um, it's still really good. Now these stems that I'm saving, I'm going to put those in a bag and if I don't make stock this weekend, I'm going to freeze them. And then when I do make stock, chicken stock or veggie stock, I'm going to have the stems and your stock will be extremely aromatic. So this recipe is um, going to be, as I said, extremely easy. Now at this point in the video, if you want to pause this, because I'll put the ingredients up on the screen for you so you can get it all together. Or of course you can always email me at uh, Miriam uh, mlboris at telus.net or my new blog which is cookinguncovered.blogspot.com and that there you will have a version that you can actually print if you need the recipe um, as one of my, my uh, friends said the other day she doesn't have a computer in her kitchen so it's nice to be able to print off the recipe and sit it on your recipe stand. So in goes my my basil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because my processor is a little bit smaller than the one that I use at school, I'm going to use about half of this. So I guess um, what we'll start with is about a quarter of a pound of basil. To that I'm going to add my half a cup of pine nuts and garlic. Garlic I think is an amazing um, addition to this. So the cloves are quite big and um, you want them, yeah, quite big. So let's put two, maybe even three garlic cloves into, maybe two, because we'll do two to the rest. So um, now to that, we're going to add cracked pepper, a little bit of salt, and this is my own addition, which tastes really good. This is a serrano pepper. Now, the thing about this is you don't want to add a lot of pepper so that it's hot. What you want is a touch of serrano pepper to give the pesto more flavor. And really, it does. So honestly, I'm just taking off the end, just a little, it probably ends up being about a tablespoon of serrano pepper, and that's gonna go in. I'm just gonna cut it in half. And that will just add some flavor and some zest. Now. The next thing is you can add parm cheese, you can add anything you want really. But I really enjoy the pecor Pecorino Romano cheese. So I'm just going to grate about one quarter of a cup of that. And that's going to go right into my, um, my pesto sauce. So quarter cup. So now, as I said, I'm happy this because my, my processor is so small compared to the one I have at school. So. Now, I'm going to add some olive oil. Like that, we're going to start that up. Add, add in some olive oil, about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I'm going to grind that up. And folks, that's seriously how easy it is to make pesto sauce. Now, what you can do at this point, you can de determine what kind of a pesto sauce. Do you want it very creamy, or do you want it a little bit rougher chopped? Now, another addition, which is kind of cool. All right, in my garden, I have all these beautiful fresh chives. Now, I'm going to take off the woody parts because that's the flower, which of course you don't want. 
but I'm going to add some fresh chives. And the, the only reason I'm going to add them is because they're going to taste delicious and I've got them in the garden and why waste them. So some fresh chives and of course, look what I have here, some beautiful cilantro. I've washed that very well, rinsed it with cold water. Now, please tell me that you do rinse all your vegetables. Even though it says pre-rinsed, pre-washed, please don't take um, anybody's word for it because of the pesticides out there. I would wash everything. So that's, a, a, that's an option for you. I'm going to add it today because I love the taste of this and I love the fact that we have the fresh chives in the garden. So let's see, a little bit more olive oil because I do want this sauce to be a little bit, a little bit runny, not too thick and chunky and not really runny, but just kind of in the middle. So let me get a spatula and I'll just scrape down the sides. Oh, the, it is, smells so delicious, really. Now, I'm not sure if you're, you've seen some of my previous videos, but what I developed last year was, was these called these flavor bursts. And I would make a sauce like this and I, I would scoop them and I would freeze them in little uh, round scoops and I'd freeze them and then bag them frozen. And then when I needed pesto for whatever, um, I just popped one out of the freezer. Now I noticed that Philadelphia cream cheese has developed this, almost the same thing, but it's called a cooking cream, which, which is very nice as well. But if you wanted to freeze this, to have it for later, it freezes very well. So this, seriously, is the easiest pesto sauce in the world. So now what I would do is I would take this and I would cook my pasta. And look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sauce. I would cook my pasta, put this into a, um, a pot on the stove, heat up my pesto sauce a little bit and throw my pasta into the pesto sauce. So I hope you have great success with this. This is just amazing. Of course we should taste it. Yes, yes, yes. I know what you're thinking. Mm. Whoa. A mm. little bit more salt. Delicious. So I hope you enjoy this and good luck on your pesto sauce. And we'll talk to you later. Happy weekend. Yes, I'm having a great glass of wine for the weekend. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.